Let's continue our series on hydraulic pumps. Taking a look at this end housing of an external gear pump, we see the pressure plate right here where the external gears would be riding on. And we see that we have a large port here and a small port here. We have two bores where we have rollers. And so this would be where our gear shafts would be riding. And we'd be seeing the inlet port right here. We can tell it's the inlet port because it would be larger to prevent cavitation. And then our smaller high pressure port. So what we can also see is that as the gears would come around, closing themselves off, creating some pressure, forcing the oil out this smaller hole into the system, we'd be seeing because of the system restriction, pressure rising up and also being able to get through this bore right here in the pressure plate. That hole would then put that pressure behind this plate and we'll see that there's a high pressure seal pack right here that holds that high pressure outlet oil that gets through these holes in here. And what that does is that actually helps the volumetric efficiency of the pump by lifting up this pressure plate and squeezing the external gears between the upper and this lower housing. So we can see the large inlet, small outlet pressure plate. We see the high pressure seal pack pushing the plate up we can also see these cut grooves right here to prevent uh, really an overpressure inside our case. As these gear pockets close, there is a small pocket of oil that gets trapped. And we looked at that in the other cutaway diagram. And this is, again, just that oil to be able to exit and leave out instead of causing the two shafts to be pushed apart. It actually just cuts through this groove into the outlet side. 